are there plans for a petrol engine? Um, I would say there are, are not. I think there's, I guess, the level of detail that Stormworks goes into, I'm not convinced that we're really going to get a meaningful distinction between petrol and diesel engines. Um, obviously, we're not modeling real diesel engines at the moment. These are, you know, a small, medium and large engine. You know, it's not a specific diesel engine. Um, so it hasn't gone into a, a huge level of, of, like, technical accuracy and detail there anyway. I mean, to be honest, all the engine stuff, I'd like if we would do completely differently if we did them again. Um, but in terms of creating a distinction between petrol and diesel, um, I don't. I think it just introduces more complexity for players, where they've got to have a different fluid type, um, and then are the engines really going to be different except for the fluid type they use? So I, I don't think that's going to be useful to players, other than this cosmetic, the word being different, diesel petrol. Yeah, you know, I think it would be different, difficult for us to deliver something that was truly a petrol engine from a mechanical point of view. And it's all about mechanics with, with the Stormworks design. We're always thinking about, okay, how does this push the design of vehicles forward? How is this like mechanically taking us to a new place in terms of stuff you've got to think about? All right, so uh, the question was just, you know, are they going to add uh, petroleum-based engines? So uh, pretty much the engines are so simple. It was kind of the synopsis of what he's saying that, you know, for those who don't understand, uh, diesel is based on compression. It's a heterogeneous mixture in a diesel engine, and it's a um, uh, homogeneous mixture in a gasoline engine, and you also need spark in a gasoline engine. The engines in game do not go into that much detail, so uh, kind of an engine is an engine. And so the differentiation there to add a whole new fuel, to add all that complexity for that new fuel, you would then have to add complexity to the engines to make uh, it beneficial to use one or the other. And um, so, you know, he said if they could have redone it over from the beginning, they may have, uh, you know, done a little bit different with the engines. But with current engines, there's really no point in going into that much detail as the engines themselves are not that detailed in game. So I tend to agree with that. I think by putting in a petrol engine, you're adding a lot of extra parts to the game, which increases the game file size. It increases the parts. It increases the complexity, which might uh, put off some players who are kind of afraid of the complexity of the game as it is. And, um, you know, it's just, and then they have to do new sound files for the new engine. So I tend to agree with that, that it's just not really all that much of a necessity to add that. And uh, potentially in a new game, you know, they could add that from the beginning.